This is that 68 Super Reverb, and it is almost done, and it is almost perfect, but for two things. When I was playing it, there was some a little extraneous noise that I did not want to have. And after going through the entire amp, uh, it's down to two things. There is 0.08 millivolts here at this eyelet which is almost negligible, but not quite. I can get that lower by heating this up. And right here at this 22, or sorry, 20 nanofarad, 500 picofarad junction, which is a common place to have leaky DC in fenders with a fiber board, even ones as clean as this, I've got a, almost 300 millivolts there. And that's just because that very small gap between this point here, which has high uh, DC on it, and this point which should have zero. So, at the point where we should have zero, I've got almost 300. And here at the B plus islet next to it, I've got 418. So maybe that explains or makes it clear why this islet is the most prone to it. So I'm going to get this old solder out and do the same thing here and heat that area up. Soak it with isopropyl, heat it up, drive all the iso out, and put it all back together, make it pretty, and see if the voltage is gone at that point. So let's check back in just a few. Okay, got all that nasty DC out, the remaining little bits. And uh, now I just need to play this for a while and see if any other weirdness has happened. <laughs> see the uh, late night playing video I did of this, the video before this, there are a couple places on the Reverb channel where I was getting some static and stuff. It would come and go seemingly randomly. I'm thinking that I probably just fixed that, but the only way to find out is to let it run for a good while. So I'm probably going to put a loop on and just let it play in the background while I do some work. And then if it starts to act up, then it'll, I can take measurements as it's having the problem. <laughs> I've poked and prodded and measured everything, and everything seems very good right now. So, uh, I think this thing's going to be just fine. All right, I don't have time to do today to do a, a too long a playing video of this. 68 super reverb but i suspect that it is done um since the last thing you saw at the beginning of this video it's been going on a loop for about two hours and i've not heard any weirdnesses so uh loops are good and all but let's just do a little bit of playing <laughs> Old CTS uh, Alnico speakers are a little bit bass shy. If you turn the bass up, here I've got it almost at eight. It's there, but uh, they probably do need to be reconed sometime in the next five years or so. So I think this thing is actually sounding quite lovely. I uh, don't anticipate any issues with this at all. And 
uh, I think it's going to be great. We we'll do one last little test just to make sure these speakers or the cabinet don't have any loose nasties that uh, the Strat does not show. I did get in there and tighten all the hardware and inside just because things come loose over the years. I'm not going to do slapping on this. You know, these speakers are quite old and there's only so much excursion they have left. Without uh, service. But if this had uh, any buzz or rattle or low end issues, it would be showing up about now. So uh, I'm going to let this run all night long, just as a final test to make sure I didn't miss anything. But uh, I anticipate this is going to be going home tomorrow to a very happy owner.